Yo, what's up guys, Wasim here, and I have a new gameplay with a support hero. I don't know exactly what hero he is or what the name is, uh, but I'll put that in the title, obviously. This guy seems like he's beyond like great as a support because he just keep jumping on people, making sure they don't escape, uh, and then also CCing a whole entire group. You'll notice that I'm able to CC the whole entire team every single time either get away with my ult or even ult people just to knock them up for a little um as you guys can see also like randomly i'll be pressing random buttons uh, i always have my l2 and r2 right where i'm about to press it because i used to play a lot of cod so what happens is i used to try to like react as quick as possible uh, this hero by the way oh my god like the hero literally cc's you for a good four seconds drains your HP and eats you alive. Uh, it doesn't make sense. He doesn't even hit you. Doesn't basic attack you. Just looks at you, and then you're kind of screwed at that point. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird. Uh, most definitely. Also, you guys always have been like asking why you're, you know, maybe you're lagging or something. It's sometimes happening to me as well. Servers are just fine, but randomly I do spike up and uh, I go up to like 150 ping. And all that nasty stuff, but I think the it's slowly fixing it, so don't even worry fallen. about that. Every other than that, like every single hero, I really do enjoy. I really got the groove of it because even this game, uh, it's my first game with this hero. Got the groove of of him most definitely. Uh, Apollo, I played with a lot. Got the new skin. I'm also spending a hundred dollars uh, today on like all the skins. So make sure you guys are there just to watch it. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. That I get something sick. I don't know if I'm trying to buy heroes or I don't know if I'm just gonna keep opening loot crates. Tell me what you guys think down below because I'm kind of debating between them. And uh, other than that, tell me, tell me what you guys do think about this game. I know a lot of you guys said that you were gonna download it and you guys were just speculating if it's good or not. Honestly, give it a shot. No doubt about it. There's a lot of people that were kind of good in MOBAs, still gave Paragon a shot. Kind of good in MOBAs, still gave League a shot. Most definitely give this game a shot. Uh, especially, like, because it's on PS4. A lot of people don't play MOBAs on PS4 except, like, Smite or something. So, uh, I don't know. A lot of people just slowly don't ever try MOBAs, too, because it's such a learning curve. Because you have to learn a lot, invest a lot of time, all that. But in this game, it seems like it's just the beginning. You only have 20 heroes, 27 heroes. You're instantly going to figure out, just within a day, I figured out the majority of heroes, what they do and how they do it, what CCs they have, uh, kind of their cooldowns, don't know all of them, but yep. most definitely uh, learn the game really quick. So give this game a shot. Like, you have nothing else to lose. A lot of you guys are on PS4 and all that horrendous stuff, you know what I mean? So, a lot of you guys are also like figuring out when this game comes out on PC, I do not know at all. Like, hoping it comes out on PC, uh, hoping that, you know, they're able to release it as soon as possible on PC. I thought it was gonna be released while the PS4 was gonna be released with it, but I was completely wrong. I don't know why that is, but I think that they're trying to invest this game towards the controller side and making it a controller-based MOBA. But other than that, like, having it as a PC, you know, keyboard and mouse, and only having PC and keyboard players versing each other and not having it cross-compatible uh, will be pretty dope. Reason being, I feel the controllers would definitely have uh, a very Your hard time versus against PC players. Attack. We're gonna have better reaction time, better frame rate, uh, refresh rate, uh, hertz, all that stuff. So I don't know. I, I feel like the only way they're gonna do that is if the population increases most definitely and then they're gonna be like, we have enough players for just PC players. So what we're gonna do is make their own separate server for them and have them compete. And thinking about it, if this game does ever like come out on the competitive side, which I hope it does, or even just released rank or anything like that, I would love it, love it, love it. And having that, you know, right of way to actually see where this game is heading. Because what happens is a lot of games just don't even have the full potential to either mess up every update. Obviously, games that I used to play, 
Uh, or just any game. Fallen. I heard uh, Battle Right is like dying or something. The reason being, every single update, it seems like just the creators in general are not listening. So, if this game learns to listen to the community, you know, the company's able to figure out what's good, what's bad, what the balance is, what cards should be in, what cards should increase cooldown, uh, skills, all that stuff. They're able to balance it really, really well and have major updates every single, you know, month or two, maybe three, and having the game, you know, always updated but not too much. It would just fit the perfect scene because when you throw a shit ton of content towards the community, what happens is everybody else gets bored of it right away. They, they get so used to a lot of lot of content that the whole community is just like, we need more because they get so used to it. So, you know, hoping that that does not happen and people are willing to like, you know, adjust to it every single update. And other than that, like this game, you're able to control your map location. So you have it, have it at the bottom left. Shout out to the kid that told me about it. Uh, I moved it to the bottom right. Uh, health indication, like how much HP region I have, all that stuff, it's not on my display. Like right at my front view, which is pretty stupid to be honest. Uh, I should have my HP, my HP regen, and my mana. I shouldn't have it on top of my guy, or I could have it on top of my guy, but at least an indicator that shows the exact HP I have, a regen every second, and all that stuff. Because what I want to know is like, if I'm gaining 100 HP a second, or if I'm only gaining like 10 HP a second. Uh, other than that, like it's gonna be really, really helpful knowing that if I need more HP and all that. Obviously, you press left on the d-pad it shows you like all your stats but it covers the whole screen and you're not able to see it you know right off the rip that's something i sort of don't enjoy i do hope they kind of change that but just like what i said they have a lot of improvements to do but it's still in its early stage so hopefully this looks like a good sign another thing uh i do wish they have an indicator of knowing what role you want to play before the match even starts. So what I mean by that is you're able to say, I got left lane. So you're not able to chat. You're really not. So you're able to like, just like how a lot of games have it. When you're about to pick a player, you pick your, your character and then it shows the role you want to play. You want to be left lane, mid lane, jungle, uh, or bot. You know what I mean? So they definitely need to change that. I don't know if it's coming out in rank or just slowly in the updates where just casual players are able to pick in general. I definitely think that's a great, great indicator because it seems like new players in this game, especially myself, sometimes I have duo top lane and then sometimes I have duo bottom lane, uh, which is kind of off because it feels like just how the map's located or how it's made, how the river's like squiggly in a way, and then one tower's closer to the other, you know, and then one minion horde goes further than the left side, all that stuff. It seems like it's supposed to be a 2v1. Uh, per lane, or not per lane, my bad. Uh, mid lane is just 1v1, top lane seems like it's gonna be 2v1, and then bottom lane, lane, same thing, 2v1, which is stupid because I really do enjoy the 2v2 aspect. I don't enjoy the 1v2 at all. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I try to make it 2v2 so it's clear, you know, your support role, you're able to benefit, you know, eat off each other, and not just eat off one hero, if that makes sense, on the enemy side. You're able to 2v2. I love that perspective of MOBA. I hate the 2v1, so hopefully um, they do change that. Or I could just be completely wrong, and that's just how the map is. And just top lane is a 2v2 or bottom lane is either 2v2. So definitely, definitely feel like they should, you know, have that more clear. Because I don't know exactly. Uh, another thing as well is jungle camps. I love them. If you're an ADC. Which I love ADCs in this game. Apollo just seems great uh, at this point in time. Uh, if you want to just clear your horde, clear your horde, you're level 7 at this point, 8 ish, you go and clear camps. That's what you want to do. You go and clear camps, and you'll be clearing camps within every minute. Every minute, I think a horde spawns or the camps spawn. So keep that in mind. You're able to farm, 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 and farm. Uh, that's how I'm always on top with my ADC uh, skill. It took me like a couple games to figure that out. 
But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If there's any tips or any videos that you guys want, please subscribe. I'm most definitely going to actually uh, either open the loot crates or I do want to buy a couple of yeah, that's cool. And I don't know why our core just completely disintegrated. It had no reason to. I think there's a cap of kills. Defeat. You have to hit 60 kills, and then it's a wrap from there. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you guys are new. And I'm out. Peace.